Now, have you ever wanted to see a teddy bear drink, swear and fight? You're in luck. Many kids have a special toy growing up. A doll, a blanket, or a lump of coal for those really poor kids in old books. None follow them into adulthood, though. Except Ted. <laughs> the buddy's polite, Frank. As a result of a childhood wish, Mark Wahlberg's teddy bear came to life and has been by his side ever since. But with the booze, the women, and the fisticuffs, this ain't no fairy tale. Tell us about shooting a fight scene with a teddy bear. It was actually pretty embarrassing because obviously the bear doesn't exist. They're going to put him in there later. And you don't feel very cool, kind of like pretending to be hit and throwing yourself all around. And, you know, I just, I, it was one of those things where it was a leap of faith. And people love the scene. I mean, they think it's one of the best scenes ever. So it's like, who knows? Why are you crying? Are you drunk? It's Bruce Brother D. Also starring is Mila Kunis as Mark's beautiful yet eternally patient girlfriend. What's weirder, finding yourself on screen with, with Mark Wahlberg or playing to a, a weird toy that isn't there? Really? Is there a difference? I'm just kidding. Hey, Johnny, how about a beer, huh? Oh, a couple of Charles Bukowski's? A couple of Bruce Doyevsky's? I, too, want a Martina never to Bruce Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 that doesn't no, work. No, 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 don't ruin it, no. Can you give us an idea as to why some women go for the man-child? Well, I would love to, but I am not Dr. Phil, so I <laughs> wouldn't be able to psychoanalyze that. If I were, I would be a doctor and I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you. But I would watch that show. Would you? Would you though? Would you listen to what I had to say? Because I wouldn't. Come on, a daytime talk show with you analyzing relationships? Oh, God forbid. Those... Get the phone. <laughs> Get the phone. Oh. Laurie, hey, you're home early. What the hell is this? Oh, my God, where are my manners? Laurie, this is Angelique. Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. Ted is voiced by Family Guy creator and actor Seth MacFarlane. The hit show has an enormous fan base and includes the voice work of Mila as character Meg. <laughs> now I know that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Interested about your relationship with Mila Kunis, you've known her since she was a teenager. What's, yes. it, what's it been like watching her grow up? Oh, God, it's been horrible. No, no, no. Generally, people who look like that are not as funny and as talented as she is. I had never seen Family Guy, and I thought, well, it's a, it's a cartoon. I can watch this with my kids. So I sat down with my, with my oldest daughter and my oldest son, who were like six and four at the time. We were laughing hysterically, but my wife barged in and made us turn it off. She said it was inappropriate. Another poor judgment as a parent. You got a pop lock? Pass it over. Take it back. You know, everything that Mark claims that he doesn't like to do, he does masterfully. He's a very modest guy. I don't like dancing or singing, and I had to do both a couple of times in the movie. I just feel silly, you know? I don't know, especially, like, in front of a lot of people. Normally, I don't give a what people think, but I was, I was a little embarrassed. John, I look like something you give to your kid when you tell him Grandma died. I want a life-size Ted doll that says pretty much all the raunchy stuff that he says. My kids can't play with it, but... <laughs> Interviews catch the hot hits live from LA each Sunday across the Southern Cross Australia Network.